guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a really simple fall makeup look for you guys I'm using my shop gleam NYC highlighters and eye glosses for this look it's very easy to achieve the skin is breathable it's not too much you have a nice glossy lid and a nice red lip so if you want to see how I got this look keep on watching so usually I start with the face but today I'm gonna to start with the eyes I don't know why but I'm gonna start with it and first I'm gonna take my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and I'm just going to put that in my crease as like a transition color. Now I'm going to take the Anastasia Modern, Re Modern Renaissance Palette and take the color Cypress Umber. Just apply that in like the corners of my eyes, not too much, just a little bit. some brown <laughs> shades to your crease and like darken the outer corners a little bit as you can see now I'm gonna use my products so these are my gleam eye glosses and highlighters so I'm gonna take brownie and bronzy and mix that just to create like a glossy lip look I'm gonna start with the lighter color so this is bronzy it's a nice bronze color and I'm gonna take a flat brush so I don't feel like getting my hands dirty but you can use your fingers too it's gonna apply across the lid Then I'm gonna, this is so easy. Then I'm gonna take brownie and put that on the edges of my eyes just to darken it up a little bit. It's a nice brown color. Use the same brush. And I'm not like worried about if it's not messy or anything. And that's the eyes. So you just, glossy lids. So moving on to the face, I've already moisturized with my serum and then I applied moisturizer on top. So I'm gonna apply my face oil my luminizing face oil with hemp it's the beauty oil I like to apply it under my foundation so I'm going to take that cream highlighter and go to just apply that on my cheekbones before I do my foundation so I try and use as little foundation as possible so I'm going to take my ColourPop concealer in medium dark 36 and I'm just gonna conceal some areas like around my nose my mouth a little bit on my mouth now I'm gonna apply my foundation so I use the ordinary serum and the L'Oreal Pro Glow so I just mix these up I just blend that in with my beauty blender I focus on the inside of my face where I need the most coverage and then blend outward then for concealer under my eyes I layer the medium dark 36 and the medium 28 which is lighter a little bit and I let that sit a little bit then I move on to my concealer sorry then I move on to my contour <laughs> so for contour I use the Fenty Beauty stick I've been using this for pretty much since it came out you gotta work fast with this but I find that the more moisturized my skin is the easier it is to blend blend it out I go in with my beauty blender and I just blend out my under eye concealer I'm gonna just blend that out nice I don't bring it out too far I keep it pretty much right under the eye in the center of the face do my nose bridge with whatever's left I just look alive I don't really like a lot of makeup so I'm not gonna do a lot okay just blend everything out once you're done blending is key okay you gotta blend it blend it blend it just have like light foundation on to see a little bit of a glow from my product I just put a little bit on I'm gonna go back and do some more so once you have your contour and highlight all blended out I'm gonna take some blush and this is max amber rose really pretty fall color blush I'm just gonna apply that to my cheeks I like a lot of blush I'm not gonna front these days I'm into blush I'm on the nose so after my blush I like to take my um, MAC mineralized skin finish in dark deep and I'm gonna kind of set my contour warm up my face a little bit more so for my bottom lash line I'm just gonna take the modern renaissance palette again and just take that umbering rose shade actually I'm going to take um, antique bronze put that under my lash line just a little bit 
it. I'm gonna use the same flat shader brush just because I like how the glitter kind of mixes in. So I'm gonna take some of the cream highlighter and bronzy and highlight a little bit more just to intensify that. I'm gonna put it right above my cheeks. I'm not gonna put it up here because it is a little bit on the it is bronzy, so as the name suggests. I am going to take a little bit and put it up here just to like have a nice transition from my eyebrows to my eyes. And that's pretty much it for the face. So I'm gonna just spray my face, apply some mascara, and then come back for the lips. And so I applied some mascara. Not the best mascara, I don't have like mine. Better than sex mascara, but I'm just gonna apply some lip product. My lips are horribly chapped because of the cold weather, but whatever. I'm gonna use the NARS um, Lip Pencil in Cruella. I'm just gonna line my lips. And then I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Uncensored, which is the red color, and just put that in the center of my lips. It's a little more red than I wanted it. I want a little more berry color, so I'm gonna block it and apply more of the NARS Lip Pencil because that's really the color I'm using. doing a lot I don't do lashes and all that just some glossy eyes and these are going to crease my eye gloss is going to be real but all glossy lip products crease so you could just dab it out or just live with it <laughs> live with it you know and this is the final look it's a really easy to achieve fall look using some of my products from Gleam NYC and just really simple this is probably going to be my go-to fall look I can just change up the lip color and call it a day but yeah, if you like this video, please subscribe for more, like, comment, and let me know what you'd like to see next. Also, be sure to shop Gleam NYC. We're at Shop Gleam NYC on Instagram, and we're GleamNYC.com to shop. So yeah, bye.